Well, 20 kilometres, and I've hardly raised a sweat. I guess it's just a case of being super fit. Then these jogs don't worry at all. Actually, I'm not running anywhere. I'm standing perfectly still in the television studio in front of a blue wall. And we're using a television trick which we often use called chroma key. What is chroma key and how does it work? Well, what is chroma key and how does it work? Let's have a look at this model. There's a little guy standing in a television studio in front of a blue wall. And there's a camera pointing at him, camera number three. And that camera can be programmed so that it sees everything except blue. So that the message that goes back to this little black box, which is in the control room, says, OK, we can see everything out there except blue. We just do not see that colour. Meanwhile, there's another camera in another part of the studio pointing at something else. And it could well be a scene on a postcard, this river scene, for example. Now, that message goes back to the control room as well. And the control room, a special little black box in the control room, says, OK, anything coming from this camera will fill in the blue parts that the first camera, camera number three, didn't see. And then the combined message is sent along another cable to the videotape recorder, and that records the combined message for you to see at home. Well, let's see if we can put a real man in front of that river scene. What we'll need to do is to take the postcard, first of all, and to place it on what's called a flip stand. It's simply a, a special black table with a black background behind it. And if we place the postcard in that position, just as in the model, camera number one is pointing at the postcard, and here's what it sees. Now, if we get camera one to zoom in so that we don't see the edges of the postcard, but just the scene itself, we're going to try and put somebody in front of that postcard. And that somebody, you guessed it, it's Dean. So I'll walk back to where I started jogging, that is in front of the blue wall. So here I am in front of the blue wall. Now what we have to do now, of course, is to set things up so that instead of seeing blue behind me, camera three sees nothing. And that nothing is replaced by cam what camera one sees, which is bits and pieces of the postcard. And we get this effect. So here I am, standing on the riverbank. Looks so wonderful, I should have brought a fishing rod. Well, that's a still picture here in the studio but we can put other things behind me as well. In fact, if we take a little 35 millimeter slide and put it in a special projector in another part of the building, we can get another effect of me looking tiny, as small as an insect, and clinging to a leaf up there in a tree somewhere. Same effect, chroma key, but this time to make me look tiny. Or alternatively, we can put me up in the sky. So I quickly need to jump on my flying carpet and uh, fly across Australia. Wonderful way to fly, very cheap too, and you probably guess that what I'm doing is sitting firmly on a blue box in front of the blue wall. Once again, chroma key at work. Well, let's get rid of the magic carpet and look at one more chroma key trick that depends on a paper bag that's painted blue to match the wall. Quite empty. Now, if we bring on a chroma key background like that, and this time you'll notice it's a little different from the others. Not a postcard or a slide, it's actually a moving picture, a videotape. And you'll see those trucks moving in the back of the quarry. You remember, I'm holding a paper bag. You can't see it because it's blue. But if I place my right hand into that bag, what happens? Of course, the arm disappears. If I put my hand out the other end, you see a strange hand floating around in space. And of course, if I put this over my head, you've suddenly got a headless monster, the kind you find in the horror movies. That's a chroma key mask. And by now, you've probably guessed how we made Rob look so small and the dinosaurs look so big. Rob was standing in front of a chroma key wall and, in fact, the dinosaurs were small plastic models, small enough to fit in your hand. Well, that's chroma key. What I want you to do this week is to look at television very carefully and see how many times you can find them using chroma key for special effects.